Hey guys, Bees from Bees Toys here coming at you. Going to do an opening this evening of a Imperial Hover Tank Pilot. Uh, this guy is a Toys R Us exclusive. Uh, 2016, I believe. And he is actually getting a re-release uh, in the next couple of months. It's February 21 right now. And we are getting a re-release, I believe, in April. Um, the next archive... <coughs> Excuse me. Just ate supper. Um, trying to clear my throat. Next archive um, wave is coming out. I, I believe it's April. Um, I have some of these pre-ordered, uh, just a couple, because I've already got a couple open, and I still have a few more in box. Um, but of course, packaging and whatnot. I'm kind of what I guess you'd call completionist, so I'm going to buy um, at least one more of each or whatever I get. Uh, especially packaging and all that's different. I don't expect a big update. Um, there's not much you could do the <clears throat> as far as features go. Now, uh, what you could see in the near future or possibly later on down the line, um, Pipeline, wink, wink, Hasbro. Um, you could see this gray version that we saw in, la in the last season of Mando um, when Pedro and Billy Burp um, take on as a hover tank pilots and to get in this compound. Um, just to find out the location of Moff Gideon's Star Destroyer. So, um, that version, these guys are colored, their, their armor is all gray. So basically you get a lighter, a little bit lighter gray than the pants. <clears throat> or not much, not much lighter, but a little bit lighter. And you could have your Mando hover tank pilot. Um, as I always say, guys, Hasbro's famous for repacks. I <laughs> I have to laugh. I saw a great meme today of the of the guy Patrick, whatever his name is, the the main guy for Hasbro. And they, they were making it was some kind of joke about <laughs> new figures and repacks. I don't know. It was one picture of him making a face with re, uh, repacks, and then the other was uh, some some kind of figures. I don't know. I I, I looked at this morning, saw it, and I had to laugh. Um, and people dog that guy pretty good. But you know what? I, I, I have to say, I don't feel like the guy knows the Star Wars, so I understand why people make fun of him and get in and rag on him online. So I totally get it. I mean, it's not—I'm not saying it's right, but I'm just saying I understand why people get upset with the guy because he doesn't really act like he knows sometimes much about this brand. Um, anyway, so enough about that. So, like I said, we're going to get a re-release in the archive version of this guy. I don't know if we'll get much of a difference. I guess when we, when we get them, uh, when I get mine, <clears throat> uh, like I said, I think I pre-ordered. I should have pre-ordered two. I'd have to, I'm going to have to go back and look. I know I pre-ordered several. The Sand, Sand People figure, because I only have one of him open. I'd like to get a few. I think I ordered four or five of him. I'm going to open three or four of him on my own uh, accord anyway, but... This guy, uh, we, maybe when I get him, I'll, I'll check him out and see if there's any difference. So, anyway, here's a little close up of the front with your Toys R Us. Um, what we don't, we're not going to see anymore, at least not in, not in the U.S. in the states. I think Canada still has Toys R Us. Um, wish we still did had it. Uh, there's still, I believe, a Toys R Us online, but I don't know what you can get. I, I looked on there once, uh, following a tip off of a. <clears throat> um, off of a website and uh, it basically was a bust so um, but they do still sell products so here's his bio if you want to check that bio out you can pause the video now and uh, try to hold him steady there uh, <clears throat> pause the video and you can get the bio checked out so let's go ahead and open him up um, I do like this figure and honestly I wish we got a hover tank vehicle to go with him um, you know when you look at it and those of you that uh, <clears throat> are vintage collection uh, collectors and if you've opened it and, and you know which i'll be honest i haven't opened mine i have two um i have two and i would like to open one i'll probably do one on that sometime i can only do so much at a time though i'm usually fairly busy at times getting ready to be real busy i'm a football coach and we are getting ready to have a shortened season starting um in a couple of weeks so I'll be back at that for a while, so how many videos? Eh, I'll probably be able to squeeze some things in in the evening time, but at any rate, <clears throat> uh, something else I love to do. i um, been doing that for about 10, 12, 11 years, something like that now. But uh, anyway, so <clears throat> here's this guy. Um, elbow's been good. 
knees are good and stiff, but they bend. Uh, twist there at the uh, upper thigh. All that stuff's good for posability. Uh, if you're not kind of not sure what what all the use is or the purpose is. Um, but like I said, very cool figure. I wish wish we had a black series. Moving back to my pouring them in a second ago. Excuse me. I'm telling you, I just ate it. I got the hiccups or burps or something. I don't know what. <clears throat> um, I don't know why we couldn't get a Black Series version. The Vintage Collection, my point was going to be, it seems kind of cheaply made. There's not really a lot to it. Um, basically a tank with not a lot of extra moving parts. You get those little crates or boxes that, that come with it maybe, and that's about it. So... Honestly, I don't know why Hasbro couldn't get some kind of mold made um, for that hover tank and make it, um, you know, you could sell it for about the price of the, about 900 bucks. And I still think, honestly, depending on how much you think you're going to have to put in it, which to me, I wouldn't, I, I don't know the business that, in, in and outs of the business that way, but I don't think you're going to put a lot into it. Um, obviously, the vintage collection one didn't look like it put a lot into it. I mean, at one point, you could get those at five below for 10 bucks. That's when they started doing the $10, which I never personally got one there. I think I got both of mine for 30 ish, um, no more than 40 a piece. I know one of them was 30. <clears throat> I think I got on Amazon or somewhere, marked down all the way to 30, and I got one there and somewhere. I forget where I got the other one. Um, but I do know I have two. I only actually there for a while. I thought I had one, and when I last week or so, and I've been shuffling through, I found another one. So. Um, I'll, I'll eventually get to that opening. Um, and and the, the sad part is I don't I think I have one vintage collection hover tank pilot. Um, so I would have to probably find another one just to make that uh, work for me. You know, me being the in-box and out-of-box collector, which is very expensive at times, I would have to find something. But anyway, um, overall though, back to this guy. Cool figure. I like the look. I really like this. Uh, hover tank helmet. Uh, I think the detail is really cool. Um, this to me is a lot better uh, than the Shore Trooper helmet. They're very similar in look when you look at the shape and, and they've got this kind of visor piece up here. I know it's probably hard to see but there's like a visor piece or a, a rim. Uh, you got, <clears throat> you know, I like the smaller eye version or smaller visor. Um, looks really cool because you know when you look at the Rogue One short troopers there's visors are bigger now don't get me wrong those are cool figures I like those I do, actually do like those quite a bit um, but this is probably if I had to say what's your favorite figure from uh, if you put me on the spot I might actually answer short trooper commander at first or AC AC ACT driver or ATC driver um, but uh or ATC driver, yeah, that guy. I like the color. Of the, I like that color better. But you didn't really see those in the movie, though. So, um, but realistically, you know, this guy's probably my favorite figure, uh, even better than Death Troopers. I'll do a Death Trooper opening here in just a minute. I'll have to do another video. I've got one sitting right over here, ready to go. Uh, I've got a ton of those open. I probably got that's probably the most of any. Uh, other than Stormtrooper and, and maybe Biker Scouts now, that's the most of any other figure I've got. I've just seen like the first lot, bit that giant lot I bought for over, a little over a thousand bucks two years ago. I think there was five or six open and then one from the three pack, which I can do a three pack as well. Um, I've got five of those sitting. I've got two close and two in a box over here in, in a different you know area in the room um, close. So I could do an opening of those. I think I've got one listed on eBay to sell, and then I've got extra. So I've got the casting engine already open, um, but I kind of could treat that guy um, as the uh, death squad leader, so to speak. But uh, anyway, I got several of those. <clears throat> I think we we are getting those in the archive as well, um, coming along with this guy. Our, our, our archive. This time around is a is a builder archive, which I'm glad they did. I I hope that the Wave Three. I don't believe we've been announced yet, but I hope Wave Three is similar. Um, I mean, the rumor out there is we're getting a five zero first. Uh, we should. Um, I wish Hasbro would quit messing around and get us that Order sixty six pack. I mean, you can't get one for under three hundred now on eBay. It's pretty much there for a while. I'd seen a few go for. 
under 250 a few months ago, but lately I've been scanning and I keep my eye on that one a lot. I don't, I have an open pack <clears throat> that I bought. Um, I bought a nice lot of clones for about 450 off a gentleman um, from Florida. Can't remember his name. I bought that off Facebook Marketplace uh, or one of the groups. One of the Black Series groups I'm in. Um, very nice guy. Uh, if I remembered his name, I'd plug him right now. Sorry, buddy. I, I'd have to look you up. Look you up but um, got got a heck of a deal. Sent me. Had a couple Rexes, couple of Clone Wolves. Had that pack. Had a couple other loose Phase Two clones, like one 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 loose regular Phase Two clone. I think in total, uh, that lot wasn't big, but it was like uh, twelve to fifteen figures, something like that. And uh, in all honesty, I sold a couple of the Rexes and a couple of the Wolves, um, basically to and off on eBay and offset my cost, which worked out great. So. Um, I like that part I like to do and that's why I even bother to sell otherwise I wouldn't waste my time um, but truthfully it's just got to offset these costs so um, downside to collecting and have an expensive habit I guess uh, better than I guess could be doing other things that are worse but anyway so here he is got off of, again as I like to get off and talk a little bit about you know what I how I my personal feelings on collecting and whatnot as I uh, look these guys over um, doesn't turn great at the waist, a little tight, head, not, not a lot of movement on the head, a little bit, you know, he can say yes and no, um, God, we got him posed up pretty good, um, I could put him up as a guard, I may put two of them as guards, like I said, if I had some kind of hover tank Hasbro, I got a place to put him, but we'll figure it out, anyway, 2016 Toys R Us exclusive hover tank pilot from Rogue One, um, Look for him in a couple of months coming in the archive collection, and uh, once I get one of those, we'll we'll do another one like it, and maybe I can I'll pull him out and we'll do a little comparison. But anyway, here he is, good looking figure. So, guys, hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Beast from Beast Toys. We'll see you later.